controllers have gone through quite a lot of change since they were first introduced in the 70s. We've had bricks with wheels, amazing designs, and even bullshit, with all of them having different pros and cons. But that made me wonder, what is the best controller of all time? So to find that out, I'm going to pick which controller I think is the best per console generation and then pick a top 3 out of those controllers. This is all my opinion of course, so if you disagree with certain picks, make sure to let me know in the comments. But what defines a good controller? Well, it has to be comfortable of course, you want to be able to play for longer sessions without your hands having a stroke. The layout has to make sense, the buttons need to feel good, and special features of the controller can vastly improve the overall experience as well. But the most important thing to me is that it isn't limited to a certain type of game. And with that logic, I can't possibly put any controllers that can't play 3D games in my top 3. So even though the Super Nintendo controller is probably the best there is for 2D gaming, it won't make my final list. But now that we got the rules set, let's start at the generation where 3D gaming was the hot new thing. The fifth generation of consoles, where the main competitors were the Nintendo 64, Sega Saturn and PlayStation 1. But my top pick for this generation is the PS1 controller. I mean, look at it, does it remind you of something? Oh yeah, every f***ing controller on the market right now. This is the controller that set the bar for all 3D gamepads coming after it, with a design that was way ahead of its time. And while Nintendo was busy making... a different kind of toy, Sony struck it out of the park with this thing. The controller works perfectly for all 3D games. Gran Turismo, Crash Bandicoot, Spyro the Dragon, all games that were so much easier to play with the introduction of this controller. And its design just aged fantastically. So well in fact that Sony decided to stick with it for 16 years. Introducing the 6th generation of consoles, where we actually had 4 big companies competing with each other. The consoles of this generation were the Sega Dreamcast, Playstation 2, Gamecube and the original Xbox. All controllers had come a long way since the last generation. Except for the PS2 of course, but the overall quality drastically increased. But although none of the controllers were per se bad in this generation, there is a clear winner in my opinion. I wouldn't know how to describe it though. The GameCube controller. Honestly, this looks like something a 5 year old would draw if you'd ask him to draw a controller. But that'd be a damn smart kid because this controller is absolutely fantastic. It melts with your hands. All buttons feel amazing and don't even get me started on the analog triggers. I could spend a day just pressing these and not do anything else. But other than that, this controller just works fantastically with pretty much every game, especially with Super Smash Bros. And it's still being made today for that game alone. But you can also use it for other games on Switch like Mario Kart. That says enough about how amazing this controller really is. Some people might not really like the button layout though, but it kind of makes sense if you think about it. And you get used to it very quickly. Which is why I think the layout is actually a pro of this controller. The only downside would be the D-pad because it's tiny as hell, but even with that, this is definitely a contender for the top spot. How do we improve in this generation? Well, when we get to the 7th generation of consoles, we see the standardization of wireless gaming with the PS3, Xbox 360 and Wii. Which one do I think has the best controller? Now before you pick up that pitchfork, just let me finish this thought. I think the Wii controller is one of, if not the most ingenious controller of all time. And I know many people really like the Xbox 360 controller, but I don't think that controller stands out as much compared to the Wii's. This has to be the most versatile controller out there. You can use it horizontally for 2D games, plug in a nunchuck to play 3D games, use the pointer for arcade light shooters, or just use the whole fucking thing as a baseball bat. The versatility allows it to be so much more than just a regular controller, and it makes it so easy for people to pick up and play. And I know it caused some games to have unnecessary motion controls, but a lot of them work great, especially with the Wii Motion Plus controllers. And without this thing, we wouldn't have the phenomenon called Wii Sports. This controller made games accessible for everybody, and that is definitely something you can't say about the PS3 and Xbox 360 controllers. I'm not gonna claim it's perfect though, because the lack of a second analog stick does make it difficult to play certain types of games, because motion controls for the camera don't always work all too well, but other than that, I think this controller is definitely the best in its generation. For the 8th generation of consoles, I find it a lot more difficult to choose a clear winner. This generation includes the Wii U, PS4 and Xbox One, and if I'm being honest here, all controllers in this generation had some pretty obvious flaws. The Wii U Pro Controller has an amazing battery life of up to 80 hours, but has the most uncomfortable button layout with the two sticks being at the top. The Xbox controller has a very solid design, but doesn't really have any special features and still uses AA batteries out of the box. 
and the PS4 controller has the most features but it also has an awful battery life of just 4 to 8 hours. I personally prefer using a PS4 controller and I'd probably say it's the best one with all of its features including a rechargeable battery, touchpad and light bar but it's not as clear a winner as with some of the other generations. With the ninth and final generation of consoles, which consists of the Nintendo Switch, Xbox Series X and S and PlayStation 5, I kinda run into a similar problem. Not because all of them are flawed, but because two of them are way above the others. I'm completely writing off the Xbox Series X controller because it's pretty much the same as the Xbox One controller, which also means that it still uses batteries. I mean, come on, this thing released in 2020 and rechargeable batteries have been the industry standard for over a decade at that point. On the other hand, the PS5 and Switch Pro controllers are both absolutely amazing. These are the most comfortable controllers I have ever put my hands on. The reason I can pick between these two is that they are both amazing in different ways. The Switch Pro controller has a whole lot of features including an NFC reader and HD rumble and on top of that it also has a battery life of 40 to 60 hours which is insane. The only real downside of this controller is that the triggers aren't analog which I think is a bit disappointing. The PS5 controller has got that covered though, with its triggers being analog and haptic. The immersion this gives in combination with the other haptic feedback is just so incredibly amazing and the features don't stop there. The battery life is once again not that good unfortunately, ranging between about 6 to 12 hours. I personally prefer the PS5 controller but the Switch Pro is fantastic as well, so for this generation I'm just gonna give the top spot to both of them. I should mention that the Joy-Cons are very solid as well, but if I compare them to let's say a Wii controller, these always feel a bit fragile. I would feel stressed if these went flying through my room when playing Just Dance. My Wii controllers actually went flying a couple of times, but they still work perfectly fine. The shoulder buttons, triggers and the sticks of the Joy-Cons also feel kind of awful in my opinion, so that's why it doesn't get the top spot in this generation. Now that we have a winner for each generation, it's time to determine a final top 3. So my third place is gonna go to the Wii controller for being so incredibly versatile and revolutionary. Second place is going to the GameCube controller since it aged so amazingly well and is still being made by Nintendo after more than 20 years since its release. And top spot is gonna go to... The PS5 and Switch Pro controllers, of course. These just show us how modern technology excels compared to older generations, and in my opinion, just are the best controllers of all time. And no, I did not make a mistake putting the Wii controller in my top 3 of all time. Speaking of mistakes though, if you want to stop making a huge mistake when buying games, you should probably check this video right here.